Hello everyone, and welcome to the finale of Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. In the last episode, we ended up going to Planet Fast Tune, and we're still here and going to take down Percival Tachyon once and for all. But before that, we're just going to get some bolts really quick, because why not? <laughs> and now we're going to head up here. And this... Uh, if my memory serves me right, I think. Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. There's like. Oh, right, there's enemies that show up here. Alright, the magnet launcher should make um, quick work of them. Not wait, not quick work, but <laughs> we'll still be able to just shock them, you know, take them all down. Gameplay! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to get this thing to get some levels. Well, get some experience on it. Because this thing is really good. Man, the Ratchet and Clank 2016 game kind of spoils me because in that you can double jump on these. Ouch. Can this thing just die already? There we go, dang! I think we're good with our weapon, so I can now start using some of our other ones, like, um... This works! <laughs> There's other magnet launchers out of ammo, so... Yeah. And, oh! Well, they got here fast! <laughs> Oh, right, there's still this moment. Okay, there's still this bit. Alrighty, so... Just gonna... Yeah, this bit's a bit... Interesting. Um... Hmm. Oh, yeah, that was the armor thing. Okay. So, um... Oh, wait, we can try and refresh our gadgets. Let's see. Yes. Yes. Why not? <laughs> and now we are ready to continue on. Into another site. Um, dang it. <sighs> Great, there are three Kragmites this time. That's making things a bit more complicated. We're just gonna constantly just jump and shoot with the um, Shard Reaper. Alrighty. Why is this strategy working? <laughs> Alright, Croc and Zephyr do are pretty good against these guys. And there we go. Those guys are gone. And of course, we have a hacker puzzle. I I'm sorry, uh, it's the Nitro Reaper. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Um. Okay. No, 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 we're gonna get there before that. Yes. Bring it over here. I'm gonna bring it down here. Uh, crud, 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 what am I supposed to do? No, wait. Um. Um, what am I supposed to do here? I've got no clue. Oh, wait, just bring it. Ah, dang it. Okay. So I got a, I got a plan here. Bring it this back down here. Just like a quick look at my capture thing. So, yeah, just make sure it's not <laughs> gone. And then there's not messing up, I mean. Okay, bring it down here. No, wait. No, wait, no. Wait! No! Uh, I know, I know. I now know what I need to do. I now know what I gotta do. Probably gonna cut those other two attempts out so I can... Oh. What? What? Why would I... Um, 
Oh, right, like this. So I save time. So then I can bring it down here. Put it right here. Move this right here. Completely forgot this segment. <laughs> this part. Alright, so I can bring it right here. Bring it down here. Have it connect right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Now I'm gonna bring it down to the bottom right. Go right here and Wow, that was that took longer than it should have. But the important thing is it's over. Now we can move on. And oh. Oh boy. Okay, so yeah, we need to try and do. We need first of all take care of these guys, and then um do that little three thing puzzle, which I still don't know why they're everywhere in this game. At least in like the 2016 game, they made it. They brought them back, but this time there was a time limit. I don't. I know that there's like a bit of a time limit here, but. It's incredibly long, but it, it gives you plenty of time. Okay, now sw Swarmer's away. And this. Dang, they can take... They take a fully charged... They, take, they can take two fully charged hits. Well... from this thing. Dang. Okay, Predator, well, Raptor Launcher, away. Okay, what the heck? What? Did Kronk and Zephyr also destroy these? What? What's happening? I'm sorry, what is happening? One shot and I'm, and I'm dead. Oh, thank goodness this thing slows them down. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait. Oh, Rhino Hollow Plan. But, uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Just gonna go away and turn all of these, all of these on, and bolt crank. Let's go. So now Talwin can go over there. And close down that gate, so then we can fight Tacky. Of course. That's right, bring it on! Mega Leech Bomb. I need this HP to fight these guys, because if I actually get hit, it's game over. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm going to have to restart the whole of that whole bit, but... Yeah, I don't want to, so... I don't want to take that chance, so yeah. I think it's called the Judiciator. Yeah, it's called the Ju Judiciator now. Okay. You know what, we're just going to use the incinerator <laughs> to destroy all these guys. Ouch! Oh, that's not good. Come on. Just go down. Over. Oop. No, 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 no. Leech bomb. Dang it, didn't give me much. I can still get taken down. Other leech bomb? Dang. I guess that that springs. Why not? Oh, wait. Speaking of gadgets, why not? Uh, Groovatron away. Oh, my gosh. Things have gone... That got stinking chaotic. Hey, hey. Can you warp over here, pal? Can you warp? 
No, you're not gonna you're not gonna even bother warping over here. This is where the ah that was where the party's at. Oh, well, you know what? The party's coming to you. <laughs> I had to quote Avengers there. Sorry, I couldn't help but laugh at that. And um. Okay. That was on for no. That thing was. Oh no! All right. I'm perfectly okay with that. All right. So now beyond this door, there lies Tachyon. <laughs> Let's do this thing. So, first of all, we're going to do some upgrading. Wait, what? We've barely even upgraded the Toxic Swarm. What? Okay, all of our Raritanium are going to these. You're gonna need more raritanium Why haven't I upgraded these? What? The Toxic Swarmers are amazing. Heck, I plan on... They're going to be a massive help for this boss fight. Uh, where are they? Um, there they are. But now, guys, it's time. We take down Tachyon. With their city decimated by my enforcers, your race took refuge behind these walls. They believed if they left this dimension, I would leave Polaris unscathed. <laughs> You're lying! Lombaxes don't run. Is that so? Dimensionator! Find the Lombaxes! Dimensionator and his infant son. I took great pleasure in destroying your father, Lombax. Pity he sent you to Solana before we could meet. I offer you this one chance. Go home. Join your race. Or stay and suffer. If I leave you with the Dimensionator, no one will be safe. Not the Lombaxes, not my friends. I'm not going anywhere until it's destroyed. Typical Lombax. So noble, so courageous, and so very dead. Now it's time to fight Tachyon once and for all. So he's gonna summon out these little bots, similar to, um, the final boss of Ratchet Deadlocked, Gleeman Vox. And sadly, our weapons do not refresh, so... Well, not, well, our gadgets do not refresh whenever this boss fight begins. So we're gonna have to go with only, like, one Groovatron and some Death Springs. And I guess I can puzzle gas, but... Yeah, ouch. Uh, those beams are... Those beams are annoying, and we have to go out on without Leech Bomb, so... We're gonna play pretty carefully here. Judiciator should help a bit. Yeah, this is doing really good, and... Huh. What's this? No, <laughs> no. What, you infernal machine? Huh. You were right. Wormhole devices are dangerous. What? Oh, come on. It's not like one of those hollow films where you think the guy's dead and suddenly... <laughs> So screwed. And now it's time to take down Tachyon 
once and for all. So first of all, we're gonna heal up at some of our da some of the damage that we've taken, and, uh, and we're gonna just just go up close and personal while he's doing this meteor move with the incinerator to get him down really low. Cause gosh dang, this thing is amazing. Okay, so the judiciator got some more ammo. That's good. We're gonna place down some toxic swarmers right here, so they can just <laughs> so they can just attack him. Oh no! And now since I got him down to really low HP, he's gonna be doing this giant la He's gonna be shooting a giant laser and be blowing up the platforms. Good news is since I got near here, <laughs> some of my nanotech got restored and <gasps> jump. Yeah, he's going all out. He's lost it. You know what? He oh no! We need to finish him off now. 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 No, 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 no. Crud. No, 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 no. Um. Yes! I did it! Kill me, Longmax. Only I know your true purpose in this galaxy. Only I know your true name. The crack my return is inevitable. Your kind will never be safe. Do you hear me? Never! It's broken. Looks like something snapped off the primary reflux coil. I believe it is missing a three and three quarters centicubit hexagonal washer. Dimensionator, find home! Ratchet, are you all right? Uh, where... where are we? We are home, Ratchet. Arrgh! 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 No, 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 no! You've got it all wrong, mate! Try it again, this time from the throat! Arrgh! Honestly! How did you ever become the captain of anything? Once more, and this time, add an inappropriate slur. Arr, you saucy wench. <sighs> I'm gonna need more grog. I am Tachyon, crown prince of the Craggy Might. If I fear me and, yeah, yeah, what not, for I... He'll rule the universe. <laughs> Die, crack my feet! <laughs> Will you two be careful? Krunk's head is a microcubit away from popping off. Do you think he was telling the truth, Clank? About my father? About my purpose? I detected no lie in his voice. But I believe your purpose has already been filled. You vanquished Tachyon, something even the Lombaxes could not do. Thanks, Clank. Don't look at me. You said it was broken. To be sure you survive, I always kind of have hope. Whoa. Uh, Clank, are these the Zoom? Let him go. It is time to understand your purpose. It is time to come with us. Yes, time to come with you. Clank!
Well, everyone, that was one heck of an ending. Dang. But that was pretty much hinting at the next game in the series, Ratchet and Clank, um, the future of Kraken Time, which I will eventually be covering on this channel. And, yeah. But, uh, am I the only one who feels like I was a little bit for? I mean, granted, there's only we're, throughout, um, we're here throughout the um, game and everything, but, eh, granted, it wasn't forced, really. Like, dang, that's an ending if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well. But this will probably be the um, last Witch and Clank game I might do in a little while, because, I don't know, this game was... Uh, until I get my commentate, until I'm able to commentate better and everything, <laughs> um, I'm not going to probably attempt uh, another one in a little while. Um... I am still going to be doing more. I am still going to be doing uh, more Ratchet and Clank Let's Plays, obviously. But yeah, it's it's, it's kind of like what happened with me in Kingdom Hearts. Whenever I Let's Played Kingdom Hearts 2 for a long time, I was like, I, I'm going to take a break from the series a little bit. And yeah, I'm not going to go directly into this game sequel. Um, that will be. I'll do that. I'll get to it eventually. But yeah, this game. Um, final thoughts on it. Um, it's fun, although it has the occasional difficulty spike. Um, it's a really fun time, and sure, it has some things wrong with it, like the um, sometimes the difficulty can spike up a little bit, and um, what's this? Um, the weapon balancing is a bit weird because, like, weapons like the combustor, um, plasma beast, or plasma beast, and um, the fusion bomb are at near the end game are flat out terrible. <laughs> But, yeah. Other than that, every other weapon is great. I didn't like how gadgets were handled. I mean, I would I really felt better if they were actual weapons instead. Because, I, I don't know, they could have... They could have been done that way. Wait, Richard Hor... Wait a second, Richard Horvitz? That's the voice of... Chaos and everything. He voices the Zony? Dang! I don't see that coming. Just looking back at the other footage and everything, but yeah. Um, all in all, the story's good. Um, the story's great. Um, <laughs> um, gameplay is really good, except for the, like, the occasional glitch and everything, which can kind of ruin it. The graphics haven't held up that well. In my opinion, they haven't held up that well. I mean, it's sequel, well, technically, yeah, sequel, um, A Crack in Time, because I count Quest for Booty as just like a little thing, but um, Crack in Time up, um, updated the graphics quite a bit and still looks great. Um, but yeah, all in all, this game is real. This game is pretty good. Um, I don't think it's well. It's not my top. Uh, it's not like on the. It's like in the middle tier for my favorite Ratchet and Clank games. Uh, not like number. I'm not top five. Well, it kind of is in my top five. I don't know. I need to. I need to sit down and <laughs> think of where my top. Um, five favorite Ratchet and Clank games, but um, it's one of my favorites. And yeah, it, I'm sure it doesn't like. Uh, I'm sure it's not as good in my opinion as like um, its eventual sequel and um, Deadlocked. But I do find it's a bit. I do find it's better than um, some of the other games. <coughs> yeah, had a cough. But yeah, everyone, I hope you all really enjoyed this let's play because I had a. I had a blast playing it. It started off strong, and then I started like, eh. I was then I was like, in the middle of the game, I was entering the let's play. But, it, I, I like well, then the ending bit. Yeah, I, I feel like that was great. But yeah, it, it's weird. This let's play was weird because I, um, started during a weird time. Well, I started a time when I was like, you know what? I want to play Ratchet. I want to play, play finally play a Ratchet and Clank game on the channel. Sorry if I'm stuttering. And then I was eventually, um, eventually got to the point where, um, I was, uh, some stuff happened in my life and I was just, um, down again and everything. And then start, started to go back to it a bit more for Let's Play and everything. And at some point I felt like I had to Let's Play it, which is never something that should happen. And then near the, and then, uh, at some point I was like, I, I just want to sit down and finally have fun well and we'll have fun and finish the game and that's what happened here 
Um, you can tell my look at the beginning that my commentary was really was pretty good. Granted, I was trying to be all objective and everything and try to <laughs> be like that with the weapons and stuff because I don't know, I was just I was looking at video games in a different perspective. I was I was comparing everything to Fire Emblem for some reason. I do not know why, but yeah, I mean, it shouldn't. It's just, just be right for what it is and everything. And this game, all in all, is a really, really good game on the PS3. I really recommend it for anyone who's interested in the series and who wants a good, who wants to start um, in the franchise. I'd say that's the thing that the sequel failed to. Well, granted, it's not really because it was part of the future games, but um, um, yeah, this game, um. Kraken Time isn't the greatest introduction to the series, in my opinion. Granted, I do think, uh, looking back, it does explain quite a few things, but still, I feel like um, this game is a good start. Um, the 2016 game slash movie is a good start. I've never seen the movie, actually, so I don't know. But from what I've heard, the movie is a good start and everything. And um, I, I think I never I need to play more Ratchet & Clank games to know where a good start is. <laughs> I don't know which good games to start. I mean, I started with Deadlocked, and granted, I didn't get a few references to Up Your Arsenal in that, but um, from playing it, but I did. But I still really enjoyed it because that was the game that I started off with, and that was before I cared about a story. <laughs> that was before I cared about stories in video games, and nowadays, I do care about them. Like, if there's a story, it needs to at least keep me engaged. And this game, um, the story does keep me engaged, along with. Um, yeah. I say, good start. Um, it does have a few problems with it, as I just mentioned. But other than that, really good game. Really good. Easily probably one of my favorite, um, PS2 game, not PS2, <laughs> PS3 games. And man, the Ratchet Clank series had a lot of PS3 games. And I don't even know, I feel like only one pretty bad one. The others I feel like were, good. I mean, that bad one was all for one, but... Yeah. And man, this game came <laughs> this game came out in 2006, dang. But yeah. I think like um 2 years later, that's whenever Crack and Time came out and that game was really good. <laughs> granted, I checked like IGN's rating. Granted, I don't care for IGN nowadays, but it's weird how they gave this game a higher score than Crack and Time went. In my opinion, I feel like um, Crack of Time is the better game um, from a story standpoint and a gameplay standpoint because um, this game um, it has less glitches and everything. Uh, I feel like it's a more polished adventure. And yeah, no penguins were harmed in the making of this game. Was that a Spyro reference? <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play, everyone. And not gonna worry about that. that that's the thing in a retro playing game. We're not doing challenge mode, at least not yet. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next Let's Play. Bye!